Inside the Aronoff Center for the Arts, COVID closed the curtain on performances. We were in this way, way overextended intermission that none of us were expecting. The Cincinnati Arts Association, Cincinnati Shakespeare Company, and Ensemble Theater Cincinnati all cut staff by at least half and lost millions of dollars in revenue. To think that this inexplicably tiny virus could bring uh, the entertainment business to its knees is just that it's inexplicable. After 10 months of planning, the Aronoff and Broadway Across America released a revised schedule beginning September 14th. I think that hearing the news that the Broadway series uh, had announced that they were coming back in September has uh, sort of lit the entire local theater community uh, on fire with hope. The Cincinnati Shakespeare Company and Ensemble Theater of Cincinnati both hope to put on shows by September. But safety requirements and the testing needed for actors and crew to feel safe is daunting. The number of tests that have to occur uh, before rehearsal starts, during rehearsal and during performance uh, is, a, uh, is a robust number. Despite the hurdles, everyone is waiting for the show to go on. That first opening night, when the curtain goes up again, and the energy in this hall, the energy in this venue, I think people are going to cheer and be on their feet. Um, and we're all going to be in tears. You know, that'll be a special moment indeed. The Cincinnati Arts Association is conducting a dress rehearsal of sorts for safety measures this weekend at Music Hall. There will be temperature checks, screenings, and masks required. Meredith Stutz, WLWT News 5. Meredith, thanks.